Mark has some cool and exciting news. Mark. Yeah, he always does. Definitely jazzed about this new initiative that we're taking here at Channel 4. We're partnering with many other TV stations around the country and even some of our own local radio stations here for a new climate collaborative. Now, I spent a lot of my day writing about climate stories and weather stories, although you see me on air here for just a couple minutes. Uh, we are doing something even bigger. It is called our Global Climate collaborative here and the weather graphics show how we are leading local climate reporting here in the city because I'm always talking about the change in the climate whether it's mangroves moving further up the state stronger hurricanes it has a real local impact here on our area and so we've gotten got together with WJCT Brandon Rivers he's an excellent reporter who focuses on climate stories but it's not just here in North Florida We've got WKMG, Florida International U University, and the Miami Herald all on board to talk about regional impacts here. So throughout the Southeast, it's hurricanes and sea level rise are real concern for us. But where, it, where the power comes is that we're tying in with 22 additional uh, news outlets here around the nation. Some of them are with our, within our own station group. And so each region focuses on the threats from climate change. So although it's hurricanes here around the Gulf Coast, Florida, and sea level rise in the Southeast, in the Midwest, they're having to deal with the migration of hotter temperatures moving further north and also flooding. When it rains, it's been raining heavier. And for some of our stations out in the West, it's wildfires that are getting worse. The droughts are getting uh, intense. And uh, all this is can be changed if we change our ways. Now, when, when people ask me, what's your opinion on climate change? I tell you that Earth could care less about your opinion. What are the facts? And the facts are just here in Jacksonville alone, in last year, we had 21 record high temperatures. 21 days, the hottest ever on record here. In 2019, we had 22 hottest days ever on record. You compare that to how many record lows, just one and one for each year. Speaks for itself. Is it getting hotter? Those are the facts right here, folks. So listen to the facts. Your opinion, well, science doesn't really care about opinions. They focus on the facts. All right, Mark. Good breakdown. Thank you, and look forward to your continued reporting there, certainly. We know that he's passionate about it. <laughs> he's not just fill in that part. No. Mark lives and breathes the environment. So that's he a does good from the beach to the woods. He, he's out there all the time and space. If he could go to space, he definitely would. Mm -hmm. And just a reminder, we still want you to see your Earth Day photo so you can show us them through Snapjacks. All you have to do is select the Earth Day category from the menu and upload your picture right there. Don't forget, add a caption, tell us about it. And we just want to see your cool pictures around town and maybe see a little bit of Mother Nature.